Sun Claire introductions are done. Colby Hay to my left, Carson Bjornison to my right. It is the Edmonton Oil Kings and the Brandon Wheat Kings coming to you from Rogers Place. Puck left wing corner, Luca Hof with it. He'll slip it left circle as Marshall Finney will tug it up the left wing boards. Gavin Hodnett there to grab it. Hodnett feeds it down below the goal line. Here's Finney, back door pass. One timer scores! Goal Miller on the power play makes it 1 0 Edmonton. Fourth goal of the year for Cole Miller as he pounces on a loose puck. I don't think he was the intended recipient of the initial pass, but Johnny on the spot. Here come the Wheat Kings into the Edmonton zone. Backdoor pass tipped on goal and a sprawling Colby Hay makes a save. Charlie Ellick and Roger McQueen, a couple of first rounders from last year's draft. I wouldn't know it by the size they have. Here's a wraparound try. Puck loose in the blue paint. Sits on the goal line. Somehow it doesn't get out. It's Ben Wright in there chipping away. Puck to the end boards. Steps into the right wing circle. Hodnett surveying. Back to the line. Pass into the skate of Port. Port will flick a backhand. Now across Hodnett. One timer. He scores! Gavin Hodnett, his first Western Hockey League goal, and it's a bullet into the top shelf. 2 0 Edmonton. Perfectly placed shot by Gavin Hodnett. We've known it's been coming for a long time. He's been so close. Absolutely buries this one. Make no mistake, Gavin Hodnett, he is a player. There's the defenseman. Now playing in the Alberta Junior League with the Drumheller Dragons. Here's Danielson slicing his way in right circle. He'll drop it off. Shot scores. As Nolan Ritchie elevates up over the glove arm of Colby Hay. And at four on four, the Wheat Kings have drawn to within one. Oh, they just fall short 5 for the final. Moose Jaw holds on to win. As a shot off the one faceoff by the Wheat Kings creeps through. And it's a tie game with 6.21 to go in this second period. As it took a deflection in front, and it might be Nolan Ritchie's second of the game, I think it is. And the Brandon captain has brought his team all the way back. As here's Trey Johnson driving wide and behind the Edmonton net, and he's neutralized there with a heavy check from Carter Kowalik. You like seeing that from teams across the Western League. As here's a shot from the line, punched down by the glove of Hay, leaves a oh. rebound, dives across with the right paddle. Oh, Colby Hay, he got himself into trouble, and then he got himself right out of it with a sprawling right pad save. That is some found money for the Brandon Wheat Kings. Left wing side, pass to center. Hauf will roll it back, and here comes Gavin Hodnett into the Wheat King zone. With speed, left circle, pass across. One-timer, scores! Cole Miller double dips, and it's 3-2 Edmonton. Well, that's the way you draw it up. It doesn't always work out exactly as planned. Here's Edmonton in. Gavin Hodnett, he's got a man going that. He cuts middle. Hodnett on his forehand. Rich shot. He scores! How about two for Gavin Hodnett? And it's 4-2 Edmonton. Yeah, and you were talking about the U-17 bump and what was going to be the uh, reaction or the response from Hodnett coming back from that tournament with Hockey Canada. I think we got our uh, the evidence is clear. I rest my case here. They'll work it into the left circle, but it's freed up by Peters, cleared to the line, and Malyavin holds in. Left wing side, Danielson steps in, loads, fires, and scores. What a shot. As he picks the top corner, and on the power play, the Wheat Kings draw to back within one. Face off here to the left of Colby Hay. Finney scrambles the draw, puck comes free, Hodnett for the empty net, and the hat trick, he scores! Have a night, Gavin Hodnett!